Hello and welcome. This is Mudassir Afras from Civil Technology for you.com and today in this session we will learn about how to move the dimensions. So let's get started. For example, I want to give the dimension to this one. For that I will go into the layer panel and I want to change this layer into dimension. Okay. So this is the dimension layer DIM1. Okay. I will select this one. Now it is just current dimension. Okay. So I want to just give a dimension to this line and I will just enter a command of DEL. Okay, I will hit enter and I will give first point and second point. Okay, so this is the dimension. Now again, if I want to just give the dimension from this point to this point under this dimension. So there is no enough space to do so. In this case, you can move the dimension as well. To move the dimension, you can just select the dimension and from these grips, you can see this grip. Okay, from these three grip, you can just move the dimension. For example, I want to move this uh, dimension upward. I will select from here. Okay, and I will move it to upward. Okay, now this uh, dimension moved up. Now there is enough space uh, where I can make another dimension. So I will take another dimension and I want to give dimension here. Okay. So there is enough space to make another dimension. So let's see some more options uh, regarding dimension. I will select this one. Okay. I will move this cross here to this grip only. Okay. Don't click on this one. And here you can see some of the options. Okay. First one is stretch. If you want to stretch this one, you can see here. I can stretch this one. Okay. From this point. Okay. Now let's see another one. That is move with dimension line. Okay. Move this text with dimension line. So I can move this with dimension line. I will select this one. Okay. Now dimension line is just going to move. Now let's see another option that is move text only. If you want to just move text only. Okay. You can use this option. I will select this one. Now I can move this text as well. Okay. Now again, I will just uh, check what are the other options. Okay. Move with leader. Okay. It will create a leader as well. For example, I want to create a leader, okay, from this point. So this is the leader, okay, and we will see in detail about leader in next lessons. Now the next option is above the dimension line. I will select this one. Now you can see these texts are above the dimension line. So what will be the next center vertically, okay? Now I will select this one. You can see these texts are just centered, okay? Then again, let's check the last option, maybe, okay? That is reset text position okay on it original position so this is the original position this is how you can just uh, make modification in dimension let's see this grip okay i will just move my pointer here okay now there are some options you can see here is the first option that is stretch okay as i told you before what is stretch next option next option here is stretch dimension group if there are a group of dimension you can stretch all of those okay i will select this one you can see these two dimensions are going to move now again there is a one more option what is that that is continue dimension okay so i can just continue from here as i told you before what is continuous dimension and what is baseline dimension like that i can give first point then second point likewise okay now let's see again what is flip arrow okay if you want to flip this arrow i just uh, want to delete this dimension from here i will select again this one okay i will go in this option that is flip arrow i will select this one you can see now just dimensions arrows are going to flip inward okay so this is how you can make the modification in dimensions so i hope you understand this session i will see you in the next thank you